Dr. Slayton describes human systems science as process learning intended to help individuals navigate personal challenges and understand past experiences. This approach explores how the physics of interaction can influence perspectives on child development and mental health outcomes. Hashtag brain talk hashtag mental health. Addressing a child's brain rather than their body involves viewing the brain as the central processor of experience, emotion, and behavior. Dr. Slayton's approach seeks to support understanding of childhood experiences, address developmental concerns, and promote improved mental health. Viewers are encouraged to watch the episode and share their feedback. After watching the episode of Dr. Slayton Live, The Brain's Body, The Ultimate Experience, viewers will have information to help them evaluate the platform. The Progressive Investing Institute of Focused Learning is Dr. Christopher K. Slayton's private practice, focusing on research and education in human systems science with an emphasis on improving mental health for children and families. Contact Dr. Christopher K. Slayton, author of Brain Talk Books. Email braintalk at derslaytonlive.com. Phone 916 955 1368. Websites www.drslaytonlive.com. Event Dr. Slayton Live Human Systems Science Meeting is scheduled for September 13, 2025, at 10 a.m. The session will cover topics including self-actualization, emotion management, brain-body connections, and neurophysiological changes. Attendees will receive practical strategies and case studies aimed at applying human system science principles in everyday and professional contexts. Recognition the first 50 participants will receive a complimentary ebook copy of Human Systems Science in the Best Interest of the Child's Mental Health and Self Awareness, a personalized notice of participation, access to downloadable materials, invitations to future meetings, and community membership focused on human systems science and self healing. Dr. Slayton's Brain Talk Books Human Systems Science, The Study of Mental Health and Self-Awareness This is how Dr. Slayton describes brain, body, and sense messaging receive path performance. The discipline of human systems science explores the intricate connections between the brain, the body, and the messaging that flows between our senses. It poses thought-provoking questions about the ways in which training one's body can influence the programming of the brain, and conversely, how learning about the brain affects the processing of bodily experiences. The Relationship Between Learning and Experience Training the body can act as a form of programming for the brain, shaping neural pathways and influencing perception. Likewise, understanding the workings of the brain can enhance one's ability to interpret the experiences of the body, highlighting a dynamic interplay between physical movement and cognitive awareness. Sensing the self The sense of self emerges not only from intellectual understanding, but also from the ability to feel and interpret sensations from the body. This relationship invites reflection on the concept of selfhood, what is a sense of self without a corresponding sense of feel for oneself, and how does the body contribute to the brain's perception of identity? Dr. Slayton's Brain Talk books discuss Human Systems Science Foundations of Self-Research Understanding Brain, Body, and Sense Messaging Key Questions for Self-Discovery Who are you? Reflecting on self-identity allows for an outer and inner search to ground one's emotions, thoughts, and reflections. By asking who you are challenges you to recognize your body as the physics of self and how your brain defines the neurophysics of self. What are you? Examining the roles of the brain, responsibilities of the body, and attributes of the senses offers clarity about why you inform the brain, discipline the body, and process the senses to live. This question helps reveal the various aspects that drive your sense of self. When are you? Considering your position in time, your past experiences, 
present circumstances, and future aspirations offers perspective on how you live, learn, think, and respond from where you are. Reflecting on your past, present, and future helps you see your growth and understand why you are your sense of feel for self, the acts of your brain and the lead of your body. Where are you? Identifying your place within physical, social, and emotional environments brings insight into the influences that shape your identity. This question invites you to notice the contexts between the physics of self and the neurophysics of self that affect who you become. Why are you? Contemplating the reasons behind your actions and existence nurtures the aim to live each day to learn how to become more informed. Motivational thinking from the inside to the outside about why you are the person you are drives how you explore your brain, body, and sense connections. How are you? Assessing your sense of feel for self emotionally, physically, and mentally shapes self-care and self-awareness. This question directs attention to why you are in the body and how you influence the experience of brain, body, and sense connections. Dr. Slayton's Brain Talk books discuss Pathways to Self-Actualization Environmental Influences and Neural Responses Understanding your sense of self, the physics of self and your sense of feel for self, the neurophysics of self. Step 1. Understanding how the brain learns. A comprehensive knowledge of how the brain acquires and processes information is fundamental to self-actualization. This understanding allows for more effective learning strategies that delve into the physics of the body, the neurophysics of the brain, and the neurophysiology of the senses. Step 2. Experiencing how the body lives. Personal experience of how the body functions and reacts to the environment is essential. This allows you to recognize the feelings between physical health and mental health that contribute to a holistic sense of self. Step 3. Transferring emotions and thoughts through the senses. Appreciating how the senses act as conduits for emotions and thoughts is vital. The ability to sense and feel how you think enhances brain and body connections and emotional awareness. Step 4. Integrating Sense and Reception Pathways Synthesizing the functions of sensory input and reception pathways fosters physical and neural signs of care. This integration is key to perceiving, processing, and responding to external and internal stimuli through a sense of feel for self and the brain's body. Step 4. Analyzing training as a program and learning as a process. A careful analysis of trained states of mind and learned states of processing the experience of self can enhance flexibility. By examining the methods of skill acquisition, a sense of feel for the experience forms the process loop to assess receive path performance. You make the call to Dr. Slayton Live. 916-955-1368 You take the steps to email Dr. Slayton Live. Braintalk at drslaytonlive.com You take the steps to Google Dr. Slayton Live. www.drslaytonlive.com you must act now.